Well, today I am stepping into the future. I'm meeting with Matt Pearson. He's the founder of Alauda Air Speeder, based here in Adelaide. This is pretty exciting. In fact, it's globally exciting and based right here in South Australia. So, um, Matt, let's go and have a chat. Let's do it. How did you come up with the idea of flying, racing vehicles. <laughs> it's pretty wild. I always wanted to live in a future where there were flying cars. Yes. We, we've been promised this for forever. And uh, the, the challenge has always been, they've always been 10 to 15 years away, and that's kind of a rolling thing. And now there are a whole lot of companies that are, the technology is almost there and the regulations are almost there to make it possible. Um, but I, I didn't want to wait, basically. I wanted to accelerate development. Um, and what's always worked before, when we moved from the horse to the car and to the plane, was racing. First cars were race cars. So I thought, um, that's a good, um, it worked for Ford, it worked for Fiat, it worked for um, Rolls-Royce and Mercedes 120 years ago. Surely that, that might be a good way to start. It's an incredible observation, you're quite right. I mean, a lot of those brands that we know uh, in motor vehicles really started as racing uh, vehicles. So are we going to see a louder uh, flying vehicles around the world in, in, in the future for, I hope for, so. for, for normal domestic use? That's the plan, yeah, right. just like a, a car today. So it should be possible. Um, so I want, I want to get into mass production, mass manufacturing eventually, but we'll start with building a few really cool race cars now and then progress. Well, should we go take a look? Let's do it. Okay. These are the Mark III's. Um, these have been through, uh, this is serial number 006007. They've been um, through testing and they'll be uh, eventually racing against each other very, very soon. Mark wow. III uh, this year will do 150 k's an hour. Wow. Yeah, it's, which is pretty, pretty fast when you're a few meters off the ground and um, you know, in, in a pack of, of vehicles or, or traveling together at that speed. Um, long term, I really want to get this beyond 250Ks, wow. um, so with the, the Mark IV and beyond. There are actually many steps um, between the Mark III, there's the Mark III A, B, C, D, etc. before we get to the Mark IV. This is a concept model of what, what it's going to look like. It will be slightly different, um, but this is all about optimizing way more power, way more streamlined, um, improving our manufacturing process here so that we can um, get some of the some of these these trickier curves and things like that with the, the carbon um, and then using the body and the wings here for um, additional lift so making it more efficient. Building them here in South Australia what sort of skills do you need to have on board within the company to build something like this something that's never been done before? It's a fusion of um, sports so Formula One uh, then uh, performance automotives, it needs to be motorsport in the sky. So 10 to 20 vehicles in the air at the same time. Wow. Using our proprietary collision avoidance system to keep everyone safe, but, um, but allowing really, really close quarter action. Um, and, uh, and circuit racing, so uh, we, we fly them in circles uh, and then we slightly, you know, it's interesting circles. It's not NASCAR. It's, uh, you know, there are some, some bends and, uh, and, and turns to go through. And then we have electric pit stops. One of the big challenges for the industry is the batteries don't last as long right. as they need to yet. They're getting there, but they're not quite so there yet. you're not changing tires, you're changing batteries. Changing batteries, right. yeah. So now we can, we can change a battery in, uh, in 14 seconds. Stop so, it. Yeah, it's, um, that's pretty cool. Mark III uh, this year will do 150 k's an hour. Wow. Yeah, it's, which is pretty, pretty fast when you're a few meters off the ground and um, you know, in, in a pack of, of vehicles or, or traveling together at that speed. Um, long term, I really want to get this beyond 250Ks, wow. um, so with the, the Mark IV and beyond. Well Matt, massive congratulations. I don't know about you, I thought I was stepping into the future. I think I've leapfrogged uh, five years, 10 years, 20 years. Uh, I, I never envisaged that we would be talking about uh, cars uh, flying around the place, let alone racing cars. It's happening right here in South Australia. It's part of the exciting future here in South Australia and that future is right now. Thank you Matt and congratulations. Thank you Premier.